A Muskegon County man says that his Fourth Amendment rights were violated when police pulled him over because a trailer hitch was blocking part of his license plate. His case went all the way to the state Supreme Court, which today sided with police. New Tonight, 24 News 8, Sarah Hurwitz spoke with the man at the center of the case. She's in studio with this story. Sarah? Well, Charles Dunbar says that he wasn't breaking any laws driving down a street in Muskegon Heights back in October 2012, but he claims that police did by unlawfully pulling him over. But the Supreme Court ruled that the police were justified in their actions. They got behind me on 6th Street. I say we got one, two, about three blocks within third or fourth block. Me getting across the light right here, it stopped me right here. Down this relatively quiet street in Muskegon Heights, Charles Dunbar says police pulled him over. The reasoning? A trailer hitch on the back of his truck covered a portion of his license plate. It seemed like harassment. We didn't have nothing else to do, hey, it was late, hey. Black guy driving a neighborhood, you know, rough neighborhood. Court documents show police smelled burned marijuana and searched Dunbar's car. They found that, cocaine, and a concealed weapon. He was charged for possession of those drugs and carrying a concealed weapon in connection with the items seized from his truck during the traffic stop. But Dunbar took his case to circuit court, arguing to suppress the evidence found in his truck on the basis that police illegally seized them and unlawfully pulled him over. What they saying is that everybody out here in the state of Michigan, ain't no telling how many uh, registered vehicles have hitches on their trucks. The circuit court ruled in favor of police actions, but Dunbar and his attorney appealed and won. But prosecutors appealed to the Michigan Supreme Court, where the ruling was ultimately overturned. Kind of looked like what we'd call pretextual traffic stop. I mean, it was arrested for what was actually a violation, but it was so minimal that most people aren't stopped for that. Federal public defender David Kayser says he's not surprised with the ruling. You can't have your license plate blocked. You have to have it um, so it can be seen. So it is a violation. So people can be stopped for a violation. My experience tells me that the police were probably looking for that car. But Kayser says people usually don't get pulled over for minor infractions like a license plate being covered. And that's the exact reason that Charles Dunbar isn't giving up on the case. Dunbar and his attorney are meeting tomorrow to discuss whether they want to take the case to U.S. Supreme Court because they say it's a Fourth Amendment issue. It's certainly an interesting case that we will continue to follow. I will mm -hmm. check in with the attorney tomorrow. Yeah. Well, the back and forth, too, between the, the, the different courts and the mm -hmm. different opinions, right. you wonder contextually what's going on with that law. But mm -hmm. we'll see. Race is a debate, that's for yeah. sure. Thanks, Sarah.